Right, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to this video of the 63 plate uh, Land Rover Defender 110 XS Utility. Um, I urge you to stick with the video. I do ramble on a bit, but you'll get a really good insight into the prep that's gone into this vehicle and also why I think um, it's, a, it's a great example. We, we go to a huge amount of length and time and money to make these um, look like a standard Landy, but hopefully a bit better than some of the ones out there. I'm, I'm sure there are there are ones out there as good or if not better, but we um, we prepare these to an inch of their life. So this is a one owner, 63,000 mile car. It's a 110 XS utility, so it's got AC, heated seats, electric windows, etc. And being the utility, it's got two rows of seats and this rear panel here is is closed up um, with no no rear windows. So really good load area, fantastic for loading up with with junk and stuff like that when you're going off on holiday. Uh, this has got the um, Boost alloys with cross-continental tyres on them all round. They've got four tyres, uh, sorry, four brand new tyres. Um, Cross-Conti's uh, really struggling to get hold of any decent tyres for Defenders at the moment. These are the factory fit ones, so we've stuck with those. This example has a stage one and a bit remap. It has a red booster clutch to make the clutch as light as your VW Golf. It has comfort suspension. It is fully soundproofed. It has touchscreen sat nav. Um, what else does it have? Uh, it's got uh, stainless steel bolts throughout. It's been under sealed from new. Um, it's just really, really good. Let's go into a few of the details now um, and I'll try and sort of show you what we've done to future-proof this from uh, corrosion and just wear and tear. So first of all, we fitted YPAC crystal headlights. I don't like LEDs. Um, first of all, I don't think they look very good. And secondly, the light pattern is shocking, even on expensive Noldens and JW speaker. These are very good um, and they fit well with the Landy, yeah, the, the classic look. Um, new bumper, stainless bolts, new lower grille here. And that always corrodes, that's all been done. Um, it's just worth pointing out that these bolts, every bolt is coated with ACF 50, so nothing will rust in there. Um, the paint hasn't been polished as yet, um, and I'm pretty sure it's got a ceramic coating on this paint. I've never felt paint so smooth in my life. Um, but we're, we're, we'll take it through its machine polishing stage. I mean, you can see there, sorry, that's my dirty fingers all over the car, but it's pretty bloody good. Right, so if you know your Defenders, you'll know this windscreen surround always corrodes. We've taken the windscreen out, repainted, sealed up properly, put the windscreen back properly without nicking any of the paint. So hopefully it won't corrode again. We've also put alloy window blocks on and painted them. Um, they are black, but they don't quite match. So we painted those. There is a very slight difference in the color because the alloy seems to sort of absorb the paint somewhat. Um, but these alloy win window blocks won't corrode like the other ones, which are made of cheese, it seems. Um, new wing mirror arms, um, gloss black wing mirror caps. I think it just looks quite nice. It's nothing special, uh, it's a cheap bit of plastic. Um, every bolt is changed for um, a stainless item and the bolt is fully coated in ACF 50 to stop any corrosion creeping back through from behind. And you can see it makes a hell of a difference to the sort of overall appearance of the vehicle. It's the little things that count. I think, you know, you don't need to go big on a Defender. You don't need to make them all glary with winches and snorkels and stuff. I think just get the small details right. And also the stuff that people never see. And it's a, they're just great vehicles. Um, Mud flat brackets, these here all corrode if you know your defenders, and they just look awful and crap. So we put stainless steel powder coated black ones in there with stainless steel fixings. Brand new side steps. There's the chassis. I mean, you won't find a cleaner chassis. It's lovely. So there's some bits that we need to touch up around here. This hasn't been touched. We haven't even washed this. So this is the dinner troll. Um, it was done by CSK, I believe. Um, so yeah, it's all all really nice along here. Uh, rear cross member. So never had a tow bar fitted. You can see if there's been a tow bar fitted, there's always an imprint of where it was fitted. This one's never towed in its life. Um, as usual with these, the, tow, the rear cross member was, had surface corrosion, nothing, nothing major. We sand it right back to bare metal and start again. Um, and this is a buzz weld system we use on here. And it's got 
lots and lots of coats of lovely Buzzweld, stainless steel bolts all round. You can see it just looks right, doesn't it? It looks really good. Uh, rear mud flap brackets, um, these are a weak point. These look so awful on the 110s. They, yeah, the ones we took off were heavily corroded. Uh, yeah, the powder coating had lifted. So again, stainless fixings. And also you'll note here, double fixing. So it won't fall off when you reverse into something. Um, steps all good there. Exhaust all nicely polished up, etc. Um, now, this vehicle has comfort suspension on it. So it's ever so slightly lower than a normal 110, a bit lower at the back. I think it's about 20 mil, 25 mil. Um, so they're the eye back lowering springs and it's got a stiffer anti-roll bar. Um, but someone's fitted it with uh, Bilstein shocks. Um, the Bilstein shocks are great if you want to go on a racetrack. They're not good for defenders. They're, they're too hard. The bushes are appalling quality. So you put the comfort springs on and the Bilstein shocks completely eradicate any comfort you would get from those springs. So they're still on currently. We are putting genuine brand new Land Rover shocks on. They're really good. The bushes last really well. They're the best bushes you can get, I think. Um, and these 110s eat rear bushes, uh, but you know, you're know you pretty good with the genuine Land Rover ones. I've tried all sorts of suspension kits, um, and I think the genuine shocks are really good at what they do. And you don't have to fork out six, seven hundred quid for um, Fox shocks, and I can't get hold of any anyway. So it's going back on to genuine shocks. Um, and as I said, it's got a red booster clutch. So the clutch is really light on this, so it drives really nicely, but... The rear drive shafts here are two-piece. We've replaced those with solid one-piece drive shafts to take out any slot from the drivetrain. We've also replaced the um, output shaft between gearbox and transfer box. If you drive a Defender and there's any form of slop in the in the gear change, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, that just takes, takes up any slack and it drives so tightly now. Brand new tyres, uh, new rear brakes. It's going to have brand new shocks on it um, with bushes. Uh, and the drivetrain is as tight as you can get. We've done a full service on all axles. Um, I've got new oil gearboxes, transfer and gearbox have got um, new oil and a full, full oil service. Uh, it's just a cracking car. Um, we've also fitted, there was a horrible reversing camera under here. I don't like it. So we fitted the um, Optimil integrated reversing camera and LED um, number plate light. And now, uh, please forgive the state of these side panels. There were wooden panels on here from the previous owner that rattled. You can see the dynamat behind, so it's nice and soundproof all over the whole vehicle, by the way, floors and up, up to the side panels there. Um, we've got some nice pre-cut high-density foam panels coming from Noise Killer Group to go in there, so it won't look quite as shoddy. Um, but have a look, really nice um, floor covering here that was done, I think, by, by CSK. Uh, Land Rovers. Um, it needs a bit of a clean. I'm sorry. I, I've been rushing to get this done. Um, uh, we put a new uh, stainless brush, stainless steel uh, entry sill here, but all under here is all soundproof. So really comfortable to drive. Um, it's quick and quiet, which is just what you want from a Landy. Um, let me uh, just show you in the back here. So the rear seats are the standard excess half leather, half mesh cloth whatever you want to call it um and they're in great nick super super nick um not carpeted on this sort of front footwell bit here but that bit is carpeted i don't know what landro we're doing there they should have put some carpet there but that's how it came from the factory so that's how it will stay um alpine subwoofer uh factory fit they're not great um I i'm fitting um phoenix gold subwoofers to these now I think I might do it to this one. Uh, they just they just really lift the sound quality. Now, first thing you notice when you open the door is the Momo wheel. I'm not the biggest fan and it can be changed, but this one has the Optimil quick release. So you can remove the steering wheel. Super good for security if you're parking up. Sorry, that was an email. Um, parking up at night, uh, you can take your steering wheel in with you and it makes it difficult to steal, I, I assume, unless you've got another one of these steering wheels. Um, so I'm going to leave it on. And look, if it's a problem, we can change it for a standard XS one. But it, it's actually really nice. It's small. Um, the only thing I do find is it does block the top of the dials. You can't see the indicator repeaters, but that's fine. That's uh, neither here nor there. Um, and you can see it's got the premium full leather seats up front, which are so comfy. Forget the Recaros. They're, they're, they're all 
they're all look um but god to yeah a man of my i'm quite a big boy that they, they they don't provide any comfort these however are super comfy uh, and full leather so they won't stain or, or or you know they're just really really nice and just lifts the interior um and we've got the um doubled in uh sat nav here this is from supplied by mud uk and there was a different system in here it wasn't very good so i, I fitted the one that we're used to uh reversing camera wireless apple carplay depends on your phone I, I i'll supply the wireless kit um but sometimes people's phones don't work very well with a wireless kit so we'll get a hardwired bit in there as well um really nice though to have navigation in one of these and when you've got the apple carplay it just links straight through to the nav no buggering about really good um that is your dab antenna there there is a short stumpy aerial over there as well so you don't have that sort of wavy aerial that most defenders have so look um it's a really nice uh, example this one Let, let's just give it a quick pricey uh, uh, of what there is on this vehicle so 110 xs utility full history one owner um we have done uh full stainless steel bolt kit new bumper new front lower grille um brand new tires all round brand new rear drive shafts output shaft on the gearbox bloody expensive to do that um full service oils gearbox oils axle oils engine oil we've painted the um windscreen surround uh, because that corrodes we have painted these window blocks in fact i forgot to say we painted the bonnet too there was a scratch here i mean we could have got away without painting it we painted it um and um it's got gloss black wing mirrors it's got reversing camera it's got sat nav it's got new side steps it's got uh, stainless steel mud flaps it, it's got the works it, it really really is a super super vehicle and it's so nice to drive um one thing i forgot to point out i've just noticed there's a tiny bit of corrosion just under this window here which frustrates me because it's, it's back from the body shot but it, it's 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 not bad but it, it is there i'll point it out if it's a deal breaker we'll get it done um but just have a look at the quality of it the, you know the rear cross member the bolt it's just a really tidy and looks like a standard vehicle but i tell you when you drive it with that red booster a, a vacuum assisted clutch it's so good there's no worries about heavy clutches please give us a call come for a drive it's a really lovely looking vehicle and i, I hope you sort of get an idea of the passion um with these that we, we sort of try and convey the passion that we've got for them we love landies that's what we do that's why we do what we do or i do what i do um it, it's it, it's a cracking example and will provide many many years of happy driving give us a call come for a drive um, we'll, we'll we'll deliver we offer a six-month warranty um give us a call cheers bye